Hi everyone, and welcome back to Ottanta Passione on this beautiful Sunday, 13th of September. Wow, 26 degrees. I feel very, very positive. I'm just uh, on my way back home after I went to Mass. Today, you know, a little boy, a little girl were just baptized and three children, they received their uh, first Holy Communion. So it's fantastic. I keep positive. And now let's move on to tennis. So Naomi Osaka, the Japanese, won her third Grand Slam title just last night in uh, New York in a very entertaining final against Vicky Azarenka, the Belarusian didn't manage after, you know, her last final that she played basically in 2013 after seven years to win this US Open. The match was for sure very interesting and Vicky Azarenka started on fire and she won in just 24 minutes the first set in 6-1. Uh, and in the second set there was a real uh, turning point, a sliding door, because Azarenka got an early break and she was leading to love against uh, Naomi Osaka. But at that point, uh, Osaka managed to, to get the, the break back and probably mentally that situation was too much, you know, for, uh, for Vicky Azarenka, who basically lost the second and the third set, 6-3. Uh, she managed only once basically to, to get a break back in the, in the third set, but you could see the problem is she was not moving uh, as well as the beginning of the match. She started uh, giving some cramps. Um, her serve was not uh, as efficient, you know, as uh, uh, it was basically in the first set. And uh, basically a little bit less uh, under the two hours, Naomi Osaka was able to um, get the last point, the championship point on an unforced error of, uh, of Osaka, of, uh, sorry, of uh, Vicky Azarenka. Um, both players were very sweet, even uh, uh, during uh, the, the speech at the end. Uh, funny enough, they asked uh, Naomi Osaka, why at the end of the match uh, did you decide you know, to lie on the floor uh, and stay there for uh, a good 30 seconds? And she said, you know, I saw other players celebrating in that way. Probably she was refer referring to, to Rafa Nadal, but she said, I was worried, you know, to get injured. So I decided to do it a little bit with style and uh, in a safe way. Uh, also, I think probably during the match or when she's, she's playing, you know, you see these very young players. She's only 23. Um, probably very, very focused on, on the match. She doesn't show too many feelings, but I have to say that she's already a great personality, an example for, uh, for a lot of uh, uh, people, uh, even uh, outside the court. Uh, because in fact, when uh, the commentator at the end asked her, uh, so you were wearing uh, seven different masks during the, the old tournament with names of uh, some uh, Afro-American basically who uh, died uh, in the recently. And uh, what was your message? What did you want to try to do? And I think Osaka was very smart in an answer uh, when basically she said, I would like, you know, people start getting interested. People, you know, trying to uh, find out how these people uh, uh, unfortunately pass away and uh, make things moving around. It can be through social networks. It, it can be, you know, through uh, newspapers or books uh, and so on. Uh, so I think we are going to hear a lot about Naomi Osaka. Probably we found, you know, a new athlete uh, for the women with a strong personality that for sure I think she's going to carry on the legacy of uh, Serena Williams. And as well, Vicky Azarenka was fantastic. Uh, I love her words. Um, she basically said I gave everything. Uh, she wished, you know, to, to be able to play another final against uh, Naomi Osaka, who said, by the way, I, I hope not because you really make me run and uh, challenge and uh, and of course she said thank you of her team um, she completely changed as a as an athlete uh, she confessed during the press conference uh, um, that basically before probably she had so much ego uh, and she was just uh, driven you know and focused on uh, winning uh, she was probably not accepting you know the defeat but right now she's really kind of trying to enjoy the moment um, to um, appreciate, you know, little things, considering that 
she's 31 years old and uh, to be honest I've never seen her so strong physically and uh, mentally so I really wish her um, another uh, uh, long career and uh, to be able to, to enjoy her tennis um, funny enough, just according to the statistics, I don't know if you are superstitious, uh, it was the first time since 1994 that basically uh, the player who won the first set with a score of 6-1 uh, after uh, lost in uh, three sets. In that case it was uh, Steffi Graf who was leading 6-1 uh, in, uh, in the final and after she lost against uh, uh, Arancha Sanchez uh, uh, Vicario, the Spanish player from uh, Barcelona. And probably... I don't know, next time the first rule to follow is if you want to win a um, Grand Slam title, never win the first set 6-1. Who knows, but it can be an advice. If I, one day I become you know, a coach, I will tell my player to, to follow this, uh, this advice. Um, having said that, just uh, uh, tonight we're going to see, we're going to enjoy the men's final. It's going to be against the Dominic team. Uh, who is going to try, you know, after uh, he's going to play his fourth Grand Slam final f fi and finally, sorry, you know, the, the joke with words, uh, to, to lift his uh, first, uh, first trophy. Um, to be honest, uh, I hope he will do that. I think it would be um, very nice for him and uh, he would deserve that because he's a very, I really like his, uh, his ethic. Uh, work ethic. I really like, you know, him as, as an athlete. Uh, he's respected from uh, everyone on tour and as well from Alexander uh, Zverev, uh, who is a very clo um, close friend of him. Um, they technically, even if uh, Zverev is uh, three or four years younger than him, they immediately started since uh, uh, they were younger basically to, to train together, to spend time. Um, le let's see, to be honest, um, so far, the German player hasn't played a great or uh, produced a great tennis to reach the final. And if I have to base my judgment on the past, it happened already in the past that someone was kind of preserving uh, the match of uh, his life for, uh, for a final. Um, so even if the bookmakers are giving a team as a favorite, I have kind of a, a strange feeling that I think it's very, will be very challenging tonight. and. Uh, probably is going to be on fire on uh, on serve but we are going to find out in uh, in a couple of hours actually tonight um, at 9 p.m uk time i think is uh, 4 p.m in the united states uh, the the final will start um overnight as well just uh, switching to different sports uh, nba played and the los angeles lakers in uh, game five they managed to seal a place uh, for the uh, Western uh, uh, final conference. They won against Houston. To be honest, uh, Houston uh, was not very uh, strong. Uh, I think already in game four, game five, we're kind of a little bit walking on, uh, on court. Uh, and now Los Angeles Lakers are waiting the winner of uh, uh, Los Angeles Clippers versus uh, uh, Denver. The, the Clippers are uh, leading 3-2. Let's see what's gonna happen. Uh, and uh, stay tuned. So now we're almost reaching I think the 10 minutes. Uh, having said that I would like just to um, take a few seconds to say thank you to new subscribers. First of all thank you so much Dav to a wonderful uh, Irish uh, friend. I'm so proud you subscribe to my channel. I hope you know Rich you're not jealous but come on you, you know already that I, uh, I, I, I love so much your wife. Don't worry, don't worry. She's a beautiful Irish woman. And also I'm very, very proud and very happy that another uh, very close friend of mine subscribed to my channel. Yes, I'm talking about Mr. Vito. That is, uh, how we say in Italian, un maestro di vita, master of life, a wonderful person, someone who can speak I think, if I'm not wrong, six or seven languages, I'm, I'm serious, and without counting Latin and Greek, um, who can play, uh, who can sing, who can act. He does so many things. It would be great to have him in the future in one of my videos. He's a, he's a fantastic person, and every year, like I keep telling him, he gets younger and younger and younger. I even forgot his age, because it's incredible. Um, so, having said that, I wish you a wonderful Sunday. If you like this video, leave your likes. Mi piace, okay? It's very important for me for the algorithm. 
leave your comments and uh, stay tuned and remember if you haven't subscribed to the channel do it it's very important bring your friends share this video and that's all for now uh, let's enjoy this beautiful sunny wonderful day bye ciao